Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. I was just playing around tonight, thought I'd show you how you could make something like that or like this very, very easily with the distort tool. Uh, I use the distort tool quite a bit. We're just going to talk, talk, uh, start off with an ellipse. I'm going to hit P, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go down to the shadow, drop down, and go to distort. But I'm going to pick zipper and random. It turned it into a funny looking square, but I'm going to type in 100 by 100. And look what it got randomly. Now you can change it a little bit and, you know, rotate it and make it less, make it more. And then you can take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in and get whatever you want. And then you can take away the outline of the item. And look at that. I mean, like a um, almost like an explosion of some kind, or a real fine splatter, or a, a porcupine. There's a lot you could probably do with this. Uh, I mean, you could play with this and you know put your smart fill tool back in there, and then do what I did with the envelope or interactive fill tool, and then make it go from this the elliptical. Put that in the center, and and even just that looks pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.